Milky O'Hare is one of the greatest action adventure games for the NES ever made. It's definitely in my top 10 for uh, best games, and it's very difficult to get through. Konami made it their business to have this be difficult. It reminds me a lot of the Battletoads. Maybe because there's frogs in it, you know? Maybe because there's anthropomorphic animals. I don't know. But anyways, the game's hard, but I think I do a pretty good job of showing you how to get through every section. Let's get started. Bucky O'Hare, let's start. From the Toad Menace. So I think they were trying to play off of the um, success of Battletoads. If you hold down the B button, it'll go faster, but you can't skip through this, unfortunately. So you can play these in any order, but it's uh, noteworthy that you have to say Blinky to get to break the ice things on the blue planet. So it's, even though it is linear, it's like you pretty much have to play these in order. So we're going to go from smallest to biggest, starting with the green planet. So he has, each character has a special power, so if you hold down the B, it will charge, and Bucky's is just a big jump. All these will come in handy. So to get this, just do a super jump. Or I think you can just, yeah, no, just run and jump at it. Yeah, some of them you need to super jump. These are just worth points. I mean, it's not even really worth getting the points unless that's something that you're into. Now, if you do get hit, it will screw up your jump. It will pause you for a minute. So notice how my life bar just went up. And your life bar will stay there until you have to continue. If you have to continue, then uh, uh, your life is going to get down to regular. See, we just hit 10,000 points, so we got an extra, uh, an extra guy, I think. Right? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So enemies respawn in this game. Do a super jump. Just make our way up. Man, just getting hit by everything. Especially that stupid spider. So, here is actually kind of the first difficult thing. Not all of them will fall. Uh, I think you need that to get that power up. Let's go ahead and get the power up. It's easiest to go this way. And just, just take a hit if you can't. Let's get on here. We could get the one up, but like, 
I think it's easier just to go, because, I mean, the game's so hard that we're eventually going to have to continue, so it's not really worth it to get every single one up. That's why I'm skipping a lot of them. Just go through here. I think... I think there's something here on this... Oh, no, nope, missed it. There are things to grab. You know? Come on, where are they? There we go. I'm back, baby. So with this section, you have to just take your time because if you get hit by their guns and you're trying to jump, it's going to screw you up. So sometimes it's better just to take damage and just take your time. Um, nope, just that thing I've noticed. Stupid. Stupid thing, man. See, it totally screws you up if you, uh... Uh... If you're not careful. If you get hit by that thing and you're trying to jump, it's gonna... Just screw you over. Oh, nice try! Not today. Okay, so here's the first boss. So I don't really care much about him. I'll just take damage. I just unleash on him. And he can only be hit when his back is turned. So don't get hit by that, uh... By the rock or you'll die instantly. There we go. See, he's pretty easy. One of the annoying things in this game is that whenever you're jumping, you get hit, it just takes all your momentum away. Blinky. Oh, he's a big eyeball. That's why they call him Blinky. So Blinky's superpower is he has a rocket ship. Let's do the red planet. So you just have to watch out for these things with the fireballs that come up. You can... Bucky can shoot through rocks. So remember, it's not about the damage that you take. It's that the fireballs will screw up your momentum and you'll die instantly. That's the hard part. Or the difficulty behind that. So with each little stage, you, uh, it's a checkpoint. So let's power up Bucky all the way. So now we're fully powered. So now every time we see a P, one of those, uh, power things, we need to, uh, figure out what character needs it. Let's put those pushies rocks over. I think we want to get up on the top part here. These spikes hanging from the ceiling are automatic death. So hit select if you want to change. So if you hold down his thing, he can just kind of fly up, but it's not very good with just the small power-up. So, Bucky can jump pretty high when he's fully powered. Okay, so this is an incredibly hard part. You have to know where to go on here. So, let's just try this. Okay, now left, now right, and then just stay down. Yes! Ha-ha! First try, baby! 
I'm back, baby. Okay, so here's a power-up. So we need Blinky. So now he can fly a little bit higher, but still not that much. So we need up Chucky to get out of here. You would think that these flames would be instant death, but they're not. Oops. Takes away your momentum. Getting hit. I think those are like tsunami uh things like seems like Konami games have those spikes that go in there. Or those flame wall things. So you could turn to Blinky and he's got like a down thing. A downward fire. So this part, you have to kind of be careful in the last block. Uh, if you go too fast, for some reason I kept falling off. So jump over these guys and then just go over here. If you hit these spikes, it's instant death. So let's just, sl just take your time with this. This part, you just have to take your time. So you can kind of gather your bearings here and just like, okay, what do I need to do? Not cool. These creepy little things. Uh-oh. I'm back, baby. Full health, feeling good. One false move, though. Get out of my life. Alright, here we go. This part's hard. So, super jump. And it can be kind of confusing what you have to do. Watch out for this. I like to just go down here and just kill these guys. So I can just get this in peace. But they're going to show back up. So I'm just going to re-kill him. Whoops. This is just worth points, so if that's your thing, that's your thing. Okay, let's wait for another one. I kind of forget how this part goes. Oh, I just want to leave. Yeah, screw it. I don't want the one up. Okay, super jump. And go over it. Okay, now super jump and wait for him. Okay, now ride, baby. Okay, now you wait, and it's going to bounce back. This part's always kind of... Uh-oh. Why is it doing this? Okay. Now we jump on this, and then we ride it. And I think we jump and then go over it or something. Yep. Now duck. And then we can jump off here. There we go. Where are we? Okay, we're at this boss. This guy is really easy. Just stay on the left side. But you have to have pretty precise hits. So just watch out for the orange laser. And try to hit do the best you can. Alright, so get a super jump going. Get over there. Now go to this side. Super jump. Okay. If we're good, if we're accurate, we can get them in two cycles. But it's kind of hard. Usually I do in three. Come on. Yes. Two cycles, baby. I'm back, baby.
So we rescued Deadeye. Deadeye, his, his special move is he can climb on walls. Uh, and he's got a spread shot. So these first two planets were the easiest. Uh, I really don't like the ice level that's coming up. It introduces some really hard elements of the game. Alright, blue planet. It's ice. There's a lot of stuff in here that we have to deal with. Change to Blinky. And there's slippery. It's slippery. Let me warn you, it's slippery. So only Blinky can destroy the ice. You gotta watch out for some of these blocks. Because they're hiding... Yeah, see? I knew there was going to be something hiding in it. But if you want to blast your way through stuff, I think there's actually some good hidden stuff. There we go. There's a, a life. But you got to be careful not to destroy too many of the blocks. I think there's another thing, another bad guy hidden here. There he is. Yeah. Not this time. Okay, so here are these things. Yeah, really hard. I forget. You gotta go fast with these. I always struggle in this part. Oh, really? Come on, man. I'm back, baby. Yes! Okay, watch out for this. Gotta go kind of fast. Hang out here? Maybe not. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, I know. You have to wait a little bit and then jump on him. So hurry up and go. Okay, wait here. Whoa. Ah, I'm dead! Where am I? Okay. <laughs> I'm switching to Bucky. Whoops. All right, here we are. Okay, so these guys will uh, burn underneath you, so you can't be hanging out for too long on platforms. Oh, oh I thought I was going to die. I'm like, here I am. I'm dead. Okay, so this part, stay right here. Right, see underneath there how there's four? Icicles that look the same. Well, now there's three and then two different ones. Just stay under that, that first one that looks different. Okay, but we can get the life real quick. Now we're just going to hang out here. Just take damage. This is the best way that I felt that, to get through this. Just take damage. It doesn't matter. We got a lot of health. And it's better than dying instantly and having to deal with all this stuff. So, uh-oh. We'll start traveling forward here real soon. There we are. Okay, we made it. Good. So now we have to switch to Blinky. This part can be a bit difficult. You see that on the top right, how the dude's throwing that icicle, the, that spike that's destroying these blocks? There needs to be... Oh, shoot. Um, those spikes will kill you instantly. So, to bust through the wall... He needs to hit the spikes without any of the, uh, whoops, of the snow being there. There we are. Just walk off. Okay, just take damage. Take the damage. I'd rather take a little bit of damage than uh, having to do this again. 
Remember, the spikes will kill you. So be careful. And I think there are some stuff hidden in here. There we are. Much needed. So destroy those first. So now we can just walk. I'm just holding over. So if you haven't noticed, Blinky is pretty uh, weak. But the good part about him is... Oops, was that a power thing? No, I don't know what that was. Is he short? I think there's an enemy in this. There's an enemy in one of these things. Yeah, there he is. Dumb. This game sucks. Alright, here we go. Okay, so... I'm playing on an emulator. So what I'm going to do right now is change to... Um... Uh... Rapid. To Turbo. So I'm turning my... To Turbo B. Um... This is the only way that I really... Oh, no, I need to switch to up Chucky. So he's going to shoot four of these and then jump when he does that. So one, he shoots five now. Two, three, four, five, and... Oh, no, six. Jump. So just keep blasting him. And then when he shoots the ice jump. Takes a million hits. So I'm actually going to switch back to my regular because if you have turbo on, you can't do the super jump. So I'm going to go to, con to my controls real quick and then switch the turbo off to regular B button. Okay. I'm back. Baby. That's good. So now we rescued the, uh, the girl. She's got a real powerful sub-weapon. Yellow planet. This one is difficult. So just take damage here because there's a life thing at the other end. So I don't really care, you know, just take damage. I'll take that. So now is the time that we really need to uh, level up the other characters. See, here's the life. Give me the life. Really, dude? Come on now. Screw this, man. I need up there. What can I do? I wonder if I could have Blinky. Yes. Now we can fly up there. I'll take that. I don't know what else. Something's telling me I need to fly more. Yep. Okay, so switch to what's her name? The girl. And get this. So if you hold down her power thing, she shoots this orb that you can control. So you can move it around. But it only lasts until the power meter goes down. So look, see? Let's see how the power movers, meter's going down. We can move it around. I'll take that. Uh, what else you got for me? 
Whoops. Oh, I want that life. I'll get it. Yoink. And we're out of here. I'll take that. So with this, I usually just take damage. Just like, whatever. Just to get through it. So this part, you have to actually climb. Which can be quite difficult. I always forget the right way to get up there. Sometimes it... There we are. Sometimes the things just have to align perfectly. Nope. I'm done. Oh, really? This thing always just frustrates me. There we are. We are aligned, my friends. Alright. So here, let's be blinky. Because he can fly. So you can ride on these rocks. So just take it to the first one. Whoops. <laughs> take it to the first one. Alright, here we are. Get off of me. So let's wait for that rock to fly up again. And we'll take that to the second one. It's right here. And we can fly to this. We can actually fly quite a bit in here. I'm trying to... There's that one. We can fly to this one. Whoa. You gotta be careful if you land on those rocks, man. Okay, that's the one that we want. That small one. Take us to Funky Town. Okay, now let's fly. You fly boys, crack me up. I think we can go down. So let's actually fly. And we can land on this. Whoops, I wanted... To power up something entirely different. Okay, good. We made it. Alright, so let's be... I guess we can be the girl. So, if you jump on this, this thing's gonna go fast. If you jump on the right side of it, you're gonna fly off. You have to kind of land... See, I almost fell off. You have to land kind of in the front part of it. And the thing's actually... It's more intimidating than it is, but the last part's a bit hard. It'll slow down when you need to jump off. So it's not that hard. You just have to remember to land somewhat in the middle, if not the front of it, whatever way it's facing. And you should be good. Whoa. Not cool. Not cool at all. We're almost done. I think this is the last section before the uh, boss. Okay, so duck. Now we're gonna have to jump off. Now duck. Stay ducked. Jump duck. Jump duck. Jump duck. Jump duck. Jump duck! Yes, we made it. Okay, power up. There's a life. Power up and a one up. Okay, here we are at the boss. I'm just going to pause it here. Well, maybe right here. Well, how about right there? Okay, so notice how there's a gun on the bottom. Those two blue things that are on that toad. That's a gun, and the one on the top is a gun. But the, the thing that's on his head, coming out of his head, that's a satellite. So you need to avoid hitting the satellite, and we need to destroy these two guns. And these uh, bullets come out like an arc. So we can just stay here and just take out this one. So we, what you want to do, really, is take out the, uh, that missile. You could easily just 
turn around, shoot it, and just concentrate on this, uh, this bottom gun. Okay, we got it. So, the top one, you have to shoot pretty, uh, it's just like that other one. Remember the, uh, the boss with the, uh, the bowling ball? Now it has to be pretty precise. Okay, there we are. So now we can take out the, uh... What's going on? The satellite. Okay, stay here. Charge up your shot. Now hit him in the eye. There we go. Alright, we made it. Okay, yeah, there's this little punk. Uh, he's got a really sh big gun, or a, not a powerful gun. And we can be him after we rescue him again. This next levels are going to be in a cell, and we're going to lose everybody but Blinky. So we have to re-rescue our friends again. Wake up, Blinky. Wake up, Blinky. Yet, Blinky wakes up and immediately knows that they're trapped in a toad mothership and informs the guy, Bucky, who's been coherent and awake the whole time. Plot holes. This is one big, long mission where we have to rescue everybody. Alright, let's switch to Blinky so you can break through these. I don't think there's anything in there. Yeah. So these turrets shoot three ways. But they're easy to take out. Watch out for the shot, yeah. So, I recommend just going up here, taking this out. If you need life, fly over. If you need the power up, that's down there. But since we only have Bucky and Blinky, uh, we don't need it. Really? Dude, twice? There might be things that make you fall down. That's why I jumped over there. So if you just jump over that pig. There is a one up in the box right up there where my head hits. The one right below that. There are blocks that will... Uh, on the top that you will you can fall through. There's points here. If that's your thing. So it's kind of hard to get up this. Take a little running jump. Okay, switch to Bucky. So you can take that out. And whee! Alright, let's go all the way over here. And there's a power thing right here. So if you want the points, you go up those, whatever those Sudoku blocks or whatever they are. I'll take that.
jump over the pig. I'm gonna fly over here. I think there's blocks that will fall out from underneath you. Down there. Okay, so once you pass this thing, it's going to initiate the fight. Do not get hit by that. So watch out for him, too. Hey, dude. Not cool. Okay. Take this out. Uh, there we are. Okay, switch to Bucky. Now unleash. And you're safe here. Continue to just duck. If we hit her enough, we can take her out in two cycles. Just continue to duck, because if you stand up, the ball will hit you. There we are. Two cycles, baby! I'm back, baby! I've lost myself in a hypnotic beam. Enough. Come on, let me out of here. Alright, let's do this. Uh... So here's where things get a bit hectic. Um, so the ones that are blinking are set in a kind of a fixed motion. It'll always go in this thing in a set pattern. Okay, let's get the one up over here. Okay, so you hear the sound? Every time and change, change, change. Every single that time that sound cycles, it will change. So go up here, go there, and hop on there. Don't be anybody but Blinky, because you can hit the spikes. So small little hop here. Whoops. Not cool. Hit all these blocks and fall through here. Do not go to the left because I believe it'll wrap around. So go up this way. And I think we need to fly over here. No, probably not. I don't think so. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay, so here is uh, Homeboy. So this is a really easy fight, but you have to get to a certain safe spot. Bust these open. Now fly. Ugh. And we need to take out those blocks up there. Now he can't shoot. Oops. Oh no. Okay. Uh, he can't shoot. Okay. We did it. Blinky can't shoot until uh, his his flight is gone. So to initiate the fight, go to here. Now we can start unleashing on him. And we're safe here. This is the easiest fight in the game. All we have to do is just sit here. And just unleash on him. It takes about a thousand hits to take him out. But, uh... It's easy. He's almost done. Here we are. Thank you, Deadeye. Maybe. Thank you, Deadeye. Maybe 
caught at the top. He is. How did you know? Alright, let's get Ghost. This section's tough. I'll take that. Okay. So, hop, 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 walk. Over here. Turn to Bucky. Super jump. Boing. So we need the power up, so turn to him. Whoops. That's not cool. Not cool at all. That's fine, so let's turn to Blinky again. And start this party all over again. Alright. Nope, I gotta be him. Turn to Blinky. So right here, we need to jump up and get on that, that, uh, so where the arrow is, the arrow block, we need to get on that left one. And then wait for it to turn over. So if we get it, if we're able to get on that block and we stand in the middle of it, when it transfers over, we'll be automatically be on the other block. There we are. Okay, so to take these out. Go to the right. There we are. Okay, so we need to turn to Bucky. Okay, go all the way to the left. Now start shooting up. Just stay here. And keep shooting. Not cool. There's going to be a section that comes up that looks like little washing machines or little bubbles. We need to get to a certain spot. So here they are. We need to go right here. And just keep shooting up. So notice how the bullets are just to the right of the top left corner of those bubbles. Okay, turn to Blinky. Now, these spikes will kill you automatically. So, proceed with caution. Ooh. It's good because he's quick. Ah! Yee! So, Deadeye's coming up pretty soon. The Deadeye fight. And he's easy. Like, all of these things are really simple. You just need to know where to stand. We're almost to the top. Okay, we made it. Alright, go to the right. Okay, now we need to... Blow up these two. Now turn to him. Oh, we don't have full thing. Oh, shoot. That sucks. Now we're just going to have to shoot him. If we had full power with him... Oh, we got to stand right here. Uh, if we had full power with him, it only takes four shots to take out Deadeye. But since we don't have full power, we're just going to have to shoot him.
So now we got all our friends back. Right. And that's the end of this level, the cell level. Taking him out. These guys take a lot of hits unless you have it fully powered. And then it'll, uh... You can take him out in one hit. So we're gonna take a death right here. I don't know how to get that without dying. So watch now. We can just load this up. There we are. And with this, we can just turn to Blinky. Fly over it. And we can just take damage from him. Don't really matter, he'll because he'll come off there. And there's a uh, so we want to power duck. So be blinky. This section's tough. So get right here. Drop down, go here. Whoa! Get that extra guy. Go here, now we wanna go on the right side. Drop down. And we wanna go on the left. Woo! Sketchy! Okay, here we are. Now drop down. Whew, okay. Made it. This part's hard as well. You have to jump just perfectly. These guys will... hurt you. Yeah, jump just perfect. So change to Blinky. You gotta want to be small. Do not get hit by these guys. Turn to Bucky. Back to Blinky. These guys, you can't shoot them. Uh-oh. Okay, here we are. Ah! Here we are. Change to... No, we still want to be Blinky. Because I think there's these crushers. Nope, we want to be Deadeye. If those guys fall on you, they'll detract you from jumping. So I like to turn to her. Just take them out. Now switch to Blinky and fly. Not today. Whoa. Turn to her, because she can she has the top thing. So turn to the duck. So his secret thing is to uh Okay good, we're all powered up. Don't have to worry about those anymore. His secret thing is to be able to walk on, uh, or crawl on the walls. Okay. 
Be blinky here, because he's nice and short. I'll take that. Switch to Bucky, because the lights are going to go off. Now the trick is to... I might die here. Okay. The trick is to watch the background. See, I'm right on the edge. Yep, dang it. Okay, so we'll have a little bit of a head start now. Super jump. Oh, I didn't mean to jump like that. Stupid. Okay. Okay. We need to... Oh. Jump up high. Okay, super jump again. Nope. Didn't make... Man, I keep hitting buttons. This is not happening. Okay. Where is the... I'm just gonna take a jump. Oh, there we are. Okay, let's go up high. Super jump. Okay. Where? Okay, so just a jump. Where am I now? Uh, where do I need to jump to? It's hard to see anything. I'm just jumping. Screw it. All right. Okay, super jump. Yoink. Those things are instant death if you fall in the middle of them. But fortunately, this lava... Stuff isn't. Oh, I'm still mad about that section. I kept dying. I'm like, oh, I'm doing pretty good. Nope. Welcome to Bucky O'Hare. Think you're doing good? Nope. So switch to the girl. Here comes the end. So stand right here. Whoa! I'm just going to switch to him. We got some pretty good hits. Okay, stay right here. Switch to the girl. Jump. You have to take out this blue thing first. These missiles are heat sinkers. Whoa. I'm like, what's going on? Alright, he's going to land. Okay, right here. Let's do this thing again. Okay, get the frog. Switch to him. Duck. Now go over here. Whoa! Okay, switch to her. Alright, cool. Died way more than I wanted to, but we still but we're still doing decent. So this section's pretty hard. Uh, turn to Bucky. Go over here. We need to get the thing above here. So what I like to do is wait for the thing to go to stop and get as close as possible. Do a little super jump. So turn to Blinky. This part's the hardest for me. Let's do his fly. Move, get right here. This is the hard part. 
So get fully powered. Whoa! <laughs> Almost made. There might be a better way of doing that. But, uh... Hard for me. Turn to the frog. Or the duck. Stay right here. Get super powered up. Now go fast. The cool thing is he's quick. So when he hangs on the wall, he's, uh... Yeah. Oops. He Bucky here. Okay. Those things let you float and there will be an arrow telling you which way. So I like to just kind of fly. If I take damage, whatever not the end of the world. So right here, pay attention to the to the things. And you have to be pretty high on that last arrow beam to land on this. That was sketchy. I'm just gonna fly. And we can be pretty careless here. Because there's a life. Alright, now be careful. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Turn to Bucky. Okay, we have to jump over these guys. These guys will deal a great amount of damage to you if you're not careful. usually happens, so no big deal. You can turn to the frog and get the one up if that's your thing, but it's not worth it to me. So with these things, these are pretty cool because they just send you over. But you have to kind of go with it. You'll stay on the top part if you don't. But it's probably best to be. Oh, I thought I was going to die. Um, Blinky. Because he's nice and small. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to fly up. Alright, be the duck. Quackshot, or whatever his name is. Grab that. This is a hard part. I like to be Blinky, the one they call Blinky. Power up. Oh no, I knew that was going to happen. That sucks. Now we got to do this all over again. This is all falling apart. I'm like, oh, this is, is... I'm doing pretty good right here. I was expecting to die a bunch. But now I'm being careless. Very frustrating.
to take our time and do things proper. Man, he's got such a sketchy flight. Like, every time I fly with him, I feel like I'm getting to lose control. That's what I love about these things. Okay, let's try this again. Ah! Oh, I'm like, I'm dead. Here I am. Did it again. Killed myself. Sketchy. I think that was the hardest part, though. Here we go. Yeah, this is the end. Alright, let's get out of here. This section is pretty difficult because it's hard to determine what you need to do. The best thing to do is pause it and be like, okay, I need to stand... Uh, figure out where the in the exit goes, and that's where you you would need to be. So it seems like I need to be on. If I was right here, I need to be on the top right part. So I need to be right here, right? Nope. Missed it. Come on, let me turn to Bucky. Ah! Yes. Here we go. I'm back, baby! Okay, this one's fairly straightforward. I need to be right here. Okay, and then out. Ooh! I don't even know what I'm doing. Where am I? Whoa! <laughs> Excellent. Still mad about that last section, though. I think we have to go here. Drop down like this. Yep. And I'm ghost. Okay. Switch to Blinky. Now, what the trick with these snakes is, just wait, take your time. Let them create their pattern. And then, just wait. Turn to the duck. Really, dude? Come on, get off me. Stupid of me. Yeah, you always have to wait. Wait for the for the thing to uh, create its pattern. Okay, now let's see what's going. All right, wait for the snake now. Wait for the pattern. Okay, switch to... Whoops. What's his name? And take these things out first. There we are. Uh-oh. Oh, man, we're doing bad. Yep, we're doing really bad. I'm probably gonna die. I deserve to die. 
for what I did. So we might still be able to salvage this run. I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna take a death. Screw it. Okay. So we need to switch. We need to act a little bit smarter. There we are. So take this thing out right away. Okay, good. Come on, get out of my life. Kill this thing. There. Now we need to take these laser beams out. So, turn B, uh, uh-oh. Blinky. Now you can hang out right on the edge. Uh-oh, we took damage. Just creep forward a bit as much as you can. There we are. We should be safe right here. Yeah, we're doing good. We have half-life. So just keep unleashing on this on this bottom bulb. So the first thing you want to do is take out the rocket launchers. And then the rocket launchers turn into those purple beams. And then we can take these out one by one. Just take your time with it. There we go. Alright, so take a big shot at this. Now just unleash. And it's okay to take hits because... Whoops. Uh, because uh, these things don't hurt you very much. Just don't get hit by that beam. There we go. We did it. Oh, I'm still mad at that spiky level. Took a lot of death. So, now we're going to the last level, which is a shooter. A flying shooter, and it is tough. Hurry up, let's bust out of here, troops. This thing's about to blow. Sabout. Sabout. We're out of here, Captain. Alright. So, you can just hold down the fire button and it'll just be a rapid shot. Now with this, I suggest just trying your best not to take damage. Because, uh... Uh, there's a lot of, uh... We're probably gonna get hit a lot. But there's going to be... See, like there, that life? That's dangerous to get. Those green guys will hold you down, so just hit the spikes if they grab onto you. So we're doing actually pretty good without getting hit. So I wouldn't mind really... Oh, close one. Just If you see that life there, it's sketchy to get that. Follow the arrows. Like, we're almost to the section. Alright, here we go. Okay, we made it. So if we die, it's not that big of a deal, because we'll just start right here. So with these things, you have to... Uh, push forward, because if you break the glass, and you're on the left side, you're gonna get trapped. So just push through. Hey. This section's a gauntlet. Okay, so up. Remember, follow the arrows. You get hit, you get hit, man. Just make sure you get to the arrows. Because there's gonna be life. Do not... Ugh. Just keep being this nerdy kid. I don't even know what, what his name is. Whoa.
You could switch to Bucky, and he's got a forward and a backward hit. Uh, see, there's plenty of things to get life. So get on the bottom and start blasting him. But always be the nerd, because he's got the more powerful shot. So just keep going back and forth. Just be real careful not to take any damage from the uh, from the balls. Because we're going to need as much life as possible. For this part, just getting as many hits. Just keep rotating back and forth. So now... Okay, take him out. Now the head's going to start. Okay, so just... Oops. Okay, just... Yeah, just... I'm just taking damage, man. Whenever you can, just cut, try to follow him in a line. And just try to predict the pattern. But most importantly... Avoid the balls. And just try to follow in that line. And try to get as many hits... And as you can, see how I just did, how you can follow him, you can predict his pattern. There we go. Now we're going to get life, so we need to switch to Bucky for this. Here comes the real tough one. The game only gets harder from here, so go right here. And there's going to be green guys that jump out of this ship. So, on the fourth one, there's going to be... On the So on the far right one, after the fourth one, we need to switch. So one, two, three, and four. So switch to Blinky. Now watch out for these. Because we're still, we're going to have to go uh, a whole nother round with this. But it's going to be best to uh, just stay here. Now switch to the nerd. <laughs> Switch to the computer nerd. And just go like this. Get as many hits in as you can. Okay, switch to dead eye. And try to hit him as much as you can. Whoa. It's okay to take hits. Okay, switch to Bucky. Try to get some hits in on these things. Okay, good. We got that. So here's the thing comes again. One. Two. Three. Okay. Looks like it's a bit different. So now we have to... Okay, unleash. Yes! Okay, turn to the nerd. We've almost got this. Now we just have to deal with these blasters again. <gasps> oh, I thought I was going to hit the spikes. Yes! Okay, we're at the very end boss now. Switch to the nerd. Okay, get our power-ups. And here comes the nerd, or er, here comes the frog. So the trick is get the life. Now be about three quarters of the way up. Here. And now we can get some good hits in on him. Okay, switch. Whoops. Switch to Bucky. And just follow this pattern that I'm doing. It doesn't matter about getting a bunch of hits in on him. It's all about dodging. But do the same thing that I'm doing right here. Do this pattern. Do not hit that fire. That's to the left. Okay, it's all about dodging this and trying to get some some decent hits in on him. But it's not really that big of a deal. It, I mean, I'd rather get a few hits on him, but dodge all his things. You know? It's all about dodging it. Because if you try to rush this fight, you're going to lose. It's all about the pattern. See, I was getting kind of greedy. Now drop down. Up. And then over. Now that's the cycle where you can really get some good hits in on. Oh, no! I'm a dead man. Oh, look at this! We just beat the game! We just beat Bucky O'Hare! 
Oh, that was intense. That's such an intense last little gauntlet. That's too bad that I died on that one section. I'm like, oh, that would have been pretty cool to go through this deathless. Bucky O'Hare and his bold crew disabled the Toad Mothership and escaped with their lives. The Righteous proudly flies again. I gotta give it up, man. This soundtrack slaps. Like, they did such a good job to, like, capture the essence and the feeling of every single, uh, level. But what do you expect? It's a Konami game. Let's croak toads. Well, that's pretty open-ended. Let's croak toads. So, it's got pretty cool. It's got some really great graphics as well. Like, they could have easily just been like any other game and just be like, eh, you know, let's just give some generic ending. Thanks for playing, you know. But look at this, man. We get some cool uh, ending credits. So, I'm going to let you guys enjoy this. And then I will see you guys for the game rating and my final thoughts.
told you this was the greatest action-adventure game ever made for the NES. Spectacular through and through. I think IGN has this somewhere in their top. It, it's definitely in the top 100. I forget exactly what position it was in. I think it's actually quite high on the list, um, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyways, let's talk about it. I mean, the music is just beautiful it captures the essence of every feeling that you're going through when you're playing the levels it's an intense game it's very difficult but it's it's fair if i die it's pretty much my fault like the only problems i really had trouble with was the flight of blinky it seems like i kind of went out of control other than that it was just common mistakes, hitting spikes, you know, just stuff like that. So it was definitely my fault when I died. Uh, I'm giving this game an A+. It really doesn't get better than this. As far as an equal amount of difficulty, like throughout the whole thing like the first levels are easy to get through you know you're gonna get you're gonna build your confidence along the way it teaches you how to use every element it did everything in such a perfect way that i don't think that nes games get much better than this as far as the action platform goes uh i this is a lot like little samson which is extremely difficult but uh, I think this game's a bit better. This game's better. Um, and it was based off of a licensed title. Uh, Bucky O'Hare was, I think, started out as a comic book. And then he there was a short-lived cartoon series for this. Um, so anyways, yeah, this game gets an A+. So hopefully this helped you guys get through and learn some of the patterns of the bosses and some of the tricks that the game throws at you. So thanks for watching. Cue the music. <laughs>